Here we go guys, it is moving day. I have never been so excited in my whole life. I have lived here for a few Minecraft years now, but today is the day that I finally get to upgrade my lifestyle. I've been saving away all of my diamonds and emeralds to buy a brand new place. And as you can see, this place isn't really too much to get excited about. It's just straight up too small. My crafting table used to be here where these new boxes are. My furnace as well. Got this cooker here which is just going to stay here because I don't need to take that with me. There's not really much room to move and you literally do not want to know what this was for. Regardless, there's... Oh, oh yeah. And this guy pretty much stays there every single day. All hours of the day, he's here little bit freaky so that is why i'm so looking forward to getting out of here and this is where i'm moving to it's got two doors a nice little pathway cacti carpets a full kitchen a double bed and it's just so much bigger the only downside is that it's located next to a pretty big laboratory i'm not sure it's too much of an issue though as this is a dream house so i better get packing let me just pack up this clock here as we need to get out of here as soon as possible. I literally cannot wait. And here it is. It looks so much better in person. Let's get in here. I've got my last moving box right here, which just has some odds and bobs in it. So let's just have a look at that. We've got um, some sticks, some wood, some random stuff. Let's put um, some of this up. Let's put a flower up. It's just going to make it a little bit more homely and put these bowls away as well. So we've got these amazing new... Oh! There's, why is there chicken in here? Oh, well, a house that comes with free chicken is a house that I want to live in. So let's pop um, this in here. That looks amazing right now. I wonder who is moving into my old place. Anyway, we need to sort out some of this stuff. That's the side why we to put the crafting table. And then what I want to do is go and introduce myself to the neighbor. So for now, I think I'm going to put the crafting table. Oh, there's too many boxes everywhere. Let's just put it here for now. I know that kind of blocks off the kitchen, but we'll sort that out later. But let's go and introduce ourselves to the brand new neighbor. I wonder what they're like. Um, I have no idea who might be living here, as I was obviously only allowed to look at my own brand new house, not the one next to it. And here we are is this it is this it right here this seems like the front door dr treoris's lab i think i'm saying that correctly treoris yeah it looks like it so it seems like we have a doctor living next door to us that is awesome so uh, the doorbell looks like it's here so let's press it and say hi very fancy sounding doorbell anyone gonna come in here let's have a quick peek through the window there's no other windows around so i can't really see where else if anyone's in, I'm pretty sure I can hear someone, though. Let's press it again and see if anyone comes to the door. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe maybe they just can't hear me. It sounds like they're doing some really loud stuff. And to be honest, it is getting a little bit late. Look, the sun is setting on our brand new moving day. And that's probably for the best, as I've got lots of unpacking to do. Then I need to get some sleep on my amazing brand new double bed if i can get through the door here thank you door so let's go and have a sleep on this once i've finished unpacking these boxes this is going to be a long day Whoa! what was that i'm trying to sleep here sounds like it's coming from next door that's super loud what is going on there's no one, is there anyone in there? I can't really see anything. I just see a computer, a couple of potion bottles. Nothing really too weird for a lab. Sounds like it's coming from this side. Is there any way I can get in there? I might, I might have something at home in the boxes that I unpack that I can patch together. You see I changed where I wanted to move everything. But regardless, I need to get in here. Ladders. 
yeah, ladder should do the trick. Let me just, um, I haven't got much stuff, have I? Let me just quickly patch some of this together. Make some more ladders. Patch them up like this. Shouldn't take too many. Let's just make a, a couple more. 13 should be enough. Let's put these sticks back. Just so I can peek over the edge and see what's going on. I can't believe it. This is so loud. What are you doing in there? Really? I didn't think it'd be this bad living next to a lab. Come on, let's just put this up here. Really want to see what he's up to. What's up Let me just take a quick look. to be very quiet. Whoa! Whoa what, what is he doing? There's no way you can keep a dragon like that in a lab. This guy is crazy. And he's keeping me from sleeping. That's so loud. Oh, I need to duck down before he sees me. Oh, goodness. What... What can I do, though? Maybe maybe it's just a one-off. I have only been here for one day, so... I guess I'll give him a chance and see what the next few nights bring. I mean, a, a dragon in a lab? I'm pretty sure that wasn't there when I came to view this house and move in. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. But as I said, I'll give him a chance and see what the next few nights bring. Tomorrow is going to be an exciting day anyway. However, I was wrong. Every night brought a brand new sound. Explosions, gunfire, fire crackling, you name it, I had probably heard it. I was getting hardly any sleep, and I just couldn't bear it anymore. Oh my goodness, what is it this time? What is going on? Why do you have to do this every single day? What is that? Fire charges? Fireworks I can hear as well. What is... What is going on? Why would you even need to do this? Right, let's go and have a word with him. This is the final straw. I'm coming round, Treoris. I've never spoken to you before, but today is a day we need to finally talk. Come on, open the door. Open the door, buddy. What is he doing? You can see the fire charges from miles off. What is he playing at? He's not even answering the door again. Is he round? Oh. Is that him? What's he doing out there? Ah. <sighs> Oh wow, I, I had no idea, I mean I went round here once but he couldn't hear me and all I've been doing right now is moaning about him. Right, that's it then, tomorrow sparks the beginning of a brand new friendship. The sun is shining and today is going to be a great day. Dr. Treoris, like it or not, I'm coming round to brighten up your life. But to do that, I will need to be a little bit sneaky by crafting a lever to get past his front door. Regardless, it is for the best. Now, I know I have some sticks in here, but I should have some cobbles somewhere. Of course, none in the oven, none in the chicken cupboard. Oh, we have some here. I think we just need one. So let's just grab one and... Randomly put this back, I guess. I don't know why there's cobblestone in the cabinet. I literally have, like, no space right now. But anyway, let's get this lever made and I will be on my way. By the way, crafting tables in the floor. Great space-saving opportunity. I need to extend into the roof sometime as well. Come on, then. Let's go see Dr. Treoris. How's he doing? Oh, it looks like he's got quite a lot set up through the little window there. I brought my sticks with me randomly. I don't need the sticks, but I do need the lever. And let's just place this bad boy on. And it works. Beautiful. He hasn't really got a good security system in here, has he? Not at all. I guess the security was not having a lever on the front. But anyway, here we go. And how are you doing, Treoris? Um... Oh, don't you don't need to worry about that. What are you up to? Can I can I help you? Uh. Great. What can I do? Uh. Okay, this one over here. It says pull here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. That was actually pretty funny. You made a fart machine. That's incredible. What else can we do? Uh. Oh, this TNT over here. I'd love to. You know what? Treoris, this could be the start of something awesome and there you have it from there we tested mods machines and more every single day and have become the best of friends of course it's a little bit more pesky now but that's what we all love about him if you can learn anything from this never judge a book by its cover you never know what you could be missing out on
Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, as I know that you've been requesting it for ages, and I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did and would like to see more animated adventures of Traoris, then please do hit that like button, and if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do subscribe to join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft fun. Oh, and I know what you're thinking. What happened to my amazing house? Well, not all experiments go to plan. Hey, how's it going? I've actually got something for you. This is the bread that you asked me to get and you can now go make me a sandwich. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I actually have two special orders here which I wanted to say for you guys and show you what is inside them. These are two absolutely huge parcels that were delivered to me this morning for something that I ordered online. They finally arrived so I thought that I'd open them up for you and yeah that's pretty... What the hell is that noise? Okay, okay, it's just you right guys. This is my brand new friend. I came across him on my travels This is whiny tree. He looks a bit upset right now. So um, introductions over what what the hell is up man? So lonely. Well, that's kind of the whole point of me ordering these two packages whiny tree I've got you I've got you covered man I've got you covered these are designed to keep you company and get you back on your way to happiness So yeah, trust me. Sorry about that guys um, new friend. He's got got a few troubles and let's just get you cleaned up we've got um just grab a bucket here i need to get you cleaned up stop crying things are going to be okay whiny tree things are going to be absolutely fine so now that you are cleared up get rid of this bucket we can go and crack open these two parcels so on the front here delivered to dan tdm minecraft so these are definitely my parcels take a look around there's nothing special on here there oh there's a returns label mail order brides at minecraft um yeah that's that kind of gives it away but anyway <laughs> that is the return address just in case whiny tree is not happy um, hopefully he's gonna gonna be okay with it. He's looking a bit down. So that, why does it always rain? Why? That's better. So let's crack these open. Let's um, do this one first. Let's crack this right open. And oh yes, look at this. It is Whiny Tree's mail order bride. So this is my order. And in the right hand side, there should be a survival kit of um, how you can actually use these brides. Um, I guess. Uh, yeah, um, take that what you will. So here is the bride. This is the first kind of um, variant of it. And we'll open up our survival kit as well. See what's in here. Um, yeah, this is the survival kit. So in this chest is actually everything you need for your mail order bride or your girlfriend. Which is actually part of the ore spawn mod. Which is a absolutely huge mod. So I thought I'd take it in parts. So I will do follow up videos with the extra parts in it. So yeah, ore spawn mod is in the description below. But um, this is the girlfriend's part of it. So we're going to take the... What have we got in here, actually? We've got roses, red roses, we've got flowers, we've got an iron axe, a dead bush, two swords, and we've got some shoes, another spawn girlfriend, and we'll come back for those in a bit. So, what you need to do is actually tame these guys. So these will, after you've ordered them online, of course, will spawn randomly in your world. You can just go up to them with a stack of red roses, and they'll actually follow you, even if they're um, not tamed to you just yet. And we will right-click, and it takes about one to five flowers in my experience so far. But this one only took one, so that was easy. And now you've got the kind of like the boss style health bar at the top that says girlfriend. And she will take damage if you hit her. She will take some damage. Go on, take damage. There we go. And she actually makes some weird sounds. And they're really loud. So um you want to turn your volume down. So when they're not um when they're not tamed to you, or when you when they are tamed to you and you're not holding a rose, she will just run around as normal. You can actually tell her to stay still by right-clicking, and she'll also tell you how much out of her 50 health that she has left. So yeah, let's move on, and you can actually give her stuff, you can give her weapons, but her main weapon of choice at the minute is shoes. So if she's not got a weapon in her hand, she can actually go ahead and throw shoes at stuff, which is actually incredible. So here we go. And as you saw there, I ran away from her, she'll teleport to me. So these are really, really um, handy minions to have, and you can see the attack power of them in a the minute, and they actually hate creepers. So they'll go after every creeper in the game and just throw shoes, and those shoes took down a creeper in three shots. 
that's incredible so here we go more more long distance throwing so it's really good like if you've, you've got a bow and she just has her shoes she's actually really efficient so if we give her a axe this works with axes she doesn't hold a bow unfortunately but she does have her her shoes to throw so um let's give her an axe and she will use our long distance attack and her close range attack if she's close enough so if we swap this out so what you need to do is right click and she'll give the stuff back with an empty hand right click again and i'll be able to give her a diamond sword and when she's close she'll actually use the diamond swords so there you go creep her down in just a couple of hits and if she's at longer range she will just use her shoes because it's more efficient for her so really really efficient attacker and one of the best minions i think that i've used in a minecraft mod before really efficient really powerful and really smart as well so what else can we do let's take this sword of her before she does any big damage with it so when a girlfriend dies, or actually let's just go over this first and how a girlfriend will actually die. So as I said, these will spawn randomly in the world and they're not all tamed to you. So when you've got a tamed girlfriend and a random single lady comes along, she's going to get mad and throw shoes at her. So <laughs> that is pretty unfortunate um, for the other girlfriend, the singleton over there. And yeah things are going to get quite aggressive so um when a girlfriend dies which brings me on to what you can do let's attack her come on let's take her down she's she's hitting on me go on are you make is she making you mad huh she making you mad <laughs> there we go so what i was saying was when a wild girlfriend got, dies she actually drops shoes which you can pick up and use for yourself so let's just take the red heels and the black heels right click and you can actually throw these and these are amazing throwing weapons so let's just spawn a creeper in here and no i didn't mean to give you that wow what the <laughs> you can actually give them spawn eggs so um let's spawn this guy down here and you can actually throw them and they will do a lot of damage they do a pretty decent amount of damage let's kill this person here there we go oh my god this is amazing black stilettos red stilettos anything that have a really good range as well you can just spray them like this they will normally take up your ammo of course if you are not in creative mode and, oh my god this is amazing look how good that was yes that's beautiful throwing shoes that do a lot of damage that is sweet so what else can we do with these well we can actually change the outfits of your girlfriend so say you're not happy with her her red and orange exterior you can right click her with a yellow flower and she'll change there are currently 25 different ones i'll just go through some of them at the moment and there is randomly a um kind of like a bathing suit option a bikini option so for those of you that like it like that i guess you creepy guys you can um change her into bikini mode so let's go over to here come on come over here Come over to here. There's some water over here, I believe. Where's the water? Hello. Here's the water. So let's um make her touch the water. Here you go. She's actually pretty fast as well. I mean, damn. So um let's put her in the water here. Come here. Hey. Hey, listen to me. Hey. Hey. They're not very like they don't listen to you very much, but let's come over here. Come on. Let's go in the water. Let's have a nice play. Come on. There we go. There we go. She's in the water and she changes it into bikini mode. And you can actually change to 12 different skins in the bikini options so um what will actually happen is when she's out of water it will change back after around a minute or two so those are pretty much what your girlfriend can do and i'll just see what's in the survival kit to see if there's anything else that i've missed out and there is actually a way to keep them quiet so you heard the sounds earlier just give her a diamond and she'll stay quiet so um yeah in minecraft as well jewelry keeps them happy so so yeah Give them jewelry and they will be quiet. You can also take it off them if you don't want them to be. So, what else is with this mod? So, I think that's pretty much it. Actually, there's a dead bush. If you present your girlfriend with a dead bush, as you can see, she's changed back to a normal outfit. She will just break up with you or you will break up with her because of a dead bush. But you can re-kind of tame them like this. So yeah, if you don't want the girlfriends following you anymore, that is sweet. Just use a dead bush. So if you can actually manage to get a girlfriend in the wild, um, you can actually right click with a flower and have two at the same time or more. You can actually have loads of them and be an absolute pimp. But more importantly, they are actually really, really good fighters. And as you can see, she is throwing stuff right now. Calm down. Please calm down. <laughs> so they're actually really good fighters and really efficient as well. So they're actually some of the best kind of like sidekicks we've had in one of the mods so far. And I think there's only one thing left to show, which is where I'm going to introduce our lovely lady here to Whiny Tree. So Whiny Tree, be prepared. These can actually dance. The, <laughs> it's really clever how it works, but it's also really strange as well. So if you make it at least, get out, no, give it back. If you actually um, have a five by five block grid of diamond, iron, or I believe gold, then you can actually have her just dance um yeah it's pretty weird but uh it's, it's just really clever how it works 
and how she just recognizes that it's a dance floor. So what you've got to do is actually change it to night. So we're going to get some glowstone up in here just to give us some, um, you know, uh, party lights. And we're actually going to give uh, Whiny Tree some bling here just because he needs something to attract this lovely lady. So what we're going to do is put some lights down and now we should be able to change it into nighttime. So let's go time set. 1800 and the party should begin here we go there she is she's, she's she's running to the diamond dance floor check it out yes oh my god look at her dancing go on she's all yours whiny tree are you happy yeah i thought so the whining has stopped happy tree is a happy man i'm glad buddy handshake oh oh sorry sorry there um yeah don't really do handshakes that well, but Wani Tree is happy, the girlfriend is happy, and we're all going to have a great time. So that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. It's, um, well, it doesn't actually. This is what this part of the mod has to offer. This mod is absolutely huge. Check it out in the description below. It does so much more, but I'll do more videos in the future to cover those bits. And yeah, if you like what you see and want to play it for yourself, then please go to the description below to check it out. And also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And for all of you, a like.